A crime in Grants Pass is having a direct impact on foster kids. A car full of Christmas gifts stolen. NBC 5's Nikki Torres spoke with the victim today. She's here live in studio with her message. Nikki? Craig Kristen B. Ryan is the founder of Our Foster Kids, Inc., an organization that helps provide supplies for foster children. In the middle of moving some of those items, Ryan's car was broken into. Yeah, they tore the... A year's worth of hard work. Gone after thieves broke into a car full of gifts that were going to foster kids. I'm really sorry that somebody feels the need to go out and steal from others. B. Ryan is the founder of Our Foster Kids, Inc. We give you know, something like this to each one of the kids. She was in the middle of moving leftover gifts from last Christmas into storage. But thieves struck before she could get them there. Parked the vehicle in front of our house and came out the next morning and unfortunately about eight of the 50-gallon bins were gone. Bins filled with tablets, games, and even drones. About $3,000 worth of items. Everything that was taken came from gifts that the public has given us. The stolen gifts would have gone to up to 30 teenagers in the foster system. It's really a sad thing that that's where our community has come to. Sad. But Ryan wants you to feel anything but sorry for her or her organization. I live in a wonderful community. I give back to this community and I watch every single day people who, from the bottom of their heart, they have nothing and they will give to someone who needs more. Ryan hopes instead of placing blame, others might take this experience and learn from it. I don't think that our community should be pointing fingers at what I could have done differently but we should point fingers at what we need to do as a community to stop this kind of behavior from continuing to happen. If you have any information, you're asked to call Grants Pass Police. And if you would like to help donate to Our Foster Kids, Inc., you can visit kobi5.com for more information. Live in studio, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Nikki, thank you.